to welcome my fellow Bowern Lake Circuit travelers. Today I'm going to talk about food. Uh, there's lots to talk about food, but I'm going to concentrate just on dinner. Uh, there's lots of ways to do dinner. This is probably the simplest, and this is the way I will likely do it. Uh, I used to make all sorts of meals when I was on these kinds of trips, but um, I've really just sort of gone to the minimalist here. You, you have to use a stove. You can't be relying on wood burning, uh, you know, campfires or anything. So I just use a simple pocket rocket. There's, like I said, there's lots of different stoves out there. This one has worked well for me because it's so small, uh, easy to pack. Uh, exactly. So I, I, uh, for two people, one of these big canisters would probably do just fine for the whole trip. This is my little pocket rocket. Uh, <clears throat> the, the thing about these little guys is that, you know, really big pot, you know, not really going to do too well on this. So if you're cooking for a big family, you might want something, you know, bigger, flatter, uh, a lot like what Allison got from Costco. Um, would probably work with this quite well. Uh, so that's all it is, is just screw it on there. I carry a lighter, black matches, etc. Let's let's light it right here. See what happens. See it. It's got quite the heat. Which is excellent. Uh, and then I carry this little clock which uh, has come many places with me over the years. I will turn that off. Uh, and and really um, why this is so simple for dinners is and I just need this one little pot uh, and really all I'm doing is boiling water. This one actually has uh, measurements uh, on the outside and on the inside so you can measure exactly how much water uh, you're boiling. Uh, but usually about one of those is two cups and then I just use these or something like Al Al Alts Like It, Mountain House is another um, brand. Uh, this one's called Alpine and uh, you can buy these they're usually around anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars it's a meal for one person really it does say two servings on here but you're going to be pretty hungry um most likely you'll go through a, a full one of these this one's fettuccine alfredo uh it's about 600 calories 700 calories and that's what you're going to need on a, on a rough canoe day and uh, you'll want to have to be eating well but really all you do is add water to this the instructions are right on it Seal it up, let it sit, rehydrate for, you know, 15 minutes or so, and then uh, away you go, you can eat that. Uh, but this is all I need. Uh, boiling water, add it to this, um, just my little pocket rocket. That's all you need. You can go much fancier. You can, you know, prepare and create all sorts of fun meals. Um, and I would do that, a lot of that preparation in advance if you're going to choose to do that. Otherwise, all you need is just a, a small pot for water um, and one of these. You, you will end up, you know, you can eat right out of this bag. And I have a little utensils pack here, which is fine. And this works. The only difficulty with these is these bags are actually quite uh, deep. And so if you're going to eat with, say, you know, this little fork um, and you want to continue to use this resealable part because it does, it's a resealable bag. so. You know, maybe you'll eat half of it and then reseal it or whatever. You want something much longer. We have longer, um, so you can buy like long spoons, whatever, so you can get in there. 99% um, of the time, I just cut the bag in half here because I'll never use it again once I'm ready and then just eat right out of the bag. And then this all, you know, you take, you pack out what you pack in. So this would all go into a little trash bag, roll up really nice and tight uh, when you're done. And easy as that. So that is... Uh, the easiest way to do meals, I think, uh, on any kind of backpacking, bowling-like trip. Um, a small pocket rocket, gas, um, a little pot, uh, and your utensils, and you're good to go for the whole, whole trip. And that way you don't have to carry, you know, stuff for washing dishes and like really get, you can, it's pretty easy to rinse this out with some, some gravel and um, a little bit, maybe a little bit of camp, uh, camp soap. Um, and wash your utensils pretty quick. You don't have to bring all the other accoutrements. Um, but you can, of course, do it other ways and, and bring more. It's totally up to you. This is just the simple, this way uh, that I've come up with anyway for, for making meals on a trip like this. So there you are. I'm done.